So, Karth is our soldier. He is our tank, which is the other reason why I never pick soldier at the start, because Karth can be a soldier f enough for everyone. So, as we can see here, the Sith kind of bricks on this world, as you, would, as you would assume, the bad guys being bad guys and whatnot. I have another level, so let's level up here. So, once again, we have more skills. So now, I have the ability to upgrade Persuade, which we're going to do because, God, Persuade is so powerful. Okay, so at this point in time, this is where, uh, this big choice comes into play. Do you want to duel or do you want a two-weapon fight? I mean, you can, you can still pump your points into things like that. But at this point, at level three, is when I make the decision of, hey, do I want to fight with multiple weapons or just the one weapon? I'm a traditionalist. I like the one weapon. Uh, basically, what dual wielding does is it makes it so you can use two weapons without a bigger penalty of missing. But uh, dueling not only gives you one attack, so you hit more often, but it gives you one defense when using a single weapon. So I prefer that. So there's no real point pumping two specific like going do double and single with a main with one character because that's just a waste of feats but uh yeah so just keep that in mind when you're playing a game that uh just you know decide early on if you want a character to hold two weapons or not anyways we're gonna break open this door because there is a bounty in here we're gonna talk about we're not gonna claim the bounty but we're gonna talk to her uh if you want to claim the bounty you can get a lot of money off of these people really quickly who are you what are you and uh sorry i'm just investigating the area and, uh, yeah, basically we find out from talking to her as I'm skipping through all this dialogue that there is a person here. Okay, here's our first persuade thing. And, uh, I hope this works. Well, I suppose you hey! Sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. So, long and short, she pissed off someone, someone wants her dead. And, uh, so you can collect the bounty, or you can not. So this guy basically tells you about, uh, energy shields. There are things that you use to block your, you know, uh, energy and stuff like that. So good against lasers. Not good against swords. Swords can still get through you. And, uh, so we're gonna buy one of those. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell a bunch of this crap we don't need. Anyways, now we can talk to Karth because we level up again. So I'm gonna do that really quickly here. So, long and short, uh, Karth finds it suspicious that we were added to the crew at the very last second, uh, by Bastila specifically. Which, uh, of course, is like, why would, uh, ba why would that happen? Why would that be a thing? Okay, so this is our Coruscant-esque type city. This is, a uh, you know, one giant city. Buddy. Oops, crap, that's the wrong button. This is us looking around and stuff. So as you can see, lots of cities, robots, people, blah 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 blah. This still looks really good. I mean, the skybox is a little, uh, you can tell it's a JPEG, just kind of like posted there. But, uh, you know, back in the day, it was pretty good. Anyways, so, uh, big thing we're gonna do right now is, uh, actually, we have a couple options. We're gonna go this way first. So, we have another vendor here. I've already talked to her, so she knows who I am. Uh, she has some very important equipment. Uh, she has this. Uh, she has the, uh... Paramacrete, Permacrete, Permacrete, Permacrete. I could never pronounce that until literally right now. I feel special. Anyways, grab that. That's a quest item. You need that. Grab a security spike. Actually, we have, do we have any security spikes? Uh, we do not. Okay, so we're going to grab two of these. Actually, one of these. We'll grab one of those because those are really helpful. And we've got some sick armor. Super expensive, as you can see that. She also carries... Uh, some really interesting weapons, and, uh, the cis sniper rifle, which is a really good, uh, long-range, uh, two-handed weapon. We don't need that right now, but we need a couple things for that for later. So, this here is our first cantina. There is a bunch of crap to do in here. Uh, we are going to do a very couple specific things. We need to talk to her. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much- So, long, just like I said, skipping through here. Uh, she's an off-duty Sith. And, uh, you can be nice to her, or you can be a prick to her, you want to be nice to her. And, uh, I don't believe I can persuade her. Save the sympathetic yeah, I can if I am a, a scoundrel, but I can't Back again. in the, in this particular thing. So, basically, apologize to her, be nice. Uh, actually, I'm not from Terrace, I'm an off waller stuck here. And, uh, being stuck here ain't so bad. And then Pretty Potter sort of added, uh, both of these will, will advance the thing. Exactly. That's pretty... And uh, you need to blow off a uh, steam for a while. And she invites you to a party in which you are going to get a suit of Sith armor, which you're going to use to sneak down into the lower levels. Just like any good RPG, there are a crap ton of side missions and people you can talk to. Uh, really important ones to note is this one. 
Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? Hey, shut up. So she thinks I'm your waiter. And then, uh, you can say anything here. It doesn't really matter which one you say. Karth interrupts you. Actually, she's going to be great. So be a prick to her. How dare you speak? Because then she's going to spawn later with two enemies that gives you more XP. Like I said, the big thing about this right now is we want to get as much XP as humanly possible because that's going to make all our lives a lot more easier. Even though we're actually going to stop leveling up at a specific level. Okay, so here's the other big side quest in this area. There is a dueling area which we're going to blow through because once you know the tricks, you can do all of this at level 3 when you first start the game. So, you know, your standard duel. It's not a death match. As we can see here, this guy is completely incompetent as he dies immediately. And, uh, yeah, basically, we're going to climb the ranks and beat all these people, kill someone, get some dark side points, and get a sick blaster at the start of the game. Okay, so now that we're in the game, uh, I'm actually going to throw armor on because this is going to make this much easier. Okay, let's talk to this guy. So, once again, I'm skipping through all this dialogue because it's, like I said, it's... I've seen it before, and I'm just make this a lot faster. You can actually blow through this game in about 12 hours if you do just the main quest line, but yeah, the entire game takes you about 20 if you do absolutely everything, so uh, yeah, it's a pretty long game. So, we get to fight the first guy who is completely incompetent. He is useless with a blaster, and then here we are, and uh, so here we go. So, basically, easiest way to take him down is just to shoot him before he even gets to you. Oh, interesting. He switched to a blaster. He, like, never switches to a blaster. So, yeah, no damage, and we're fine. This is Girl on two fingers. He has two fingers, even though he clearly has a whole hand. And, uh, now we're gonna shoot this guy again, because, once again, why wouldn't you? So, he's got a bit more health. Actually, you know what? Just to show off the difference in combat, let's go up to him and just take him out with the Vibroblade. Just to shake it up. Just to try something different. Miss. Oh, that's not good. Oops, so we're at half health, even though it's hard to see right now. Okay, so we're going to heal up here real quick. Oh, by the way, huge, 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 huge overpowered glitch. You can heal from this menu. Not many people know this, but you can actually just go like this. And you get healed, and it doesn't take up a turn. And you can do this as many times as you want. In fact, you can do this and have an actual action. One more good hit, and he should be dead. There we go. Now, that's actually easier if you use a blaster, because he can't use a blaster because, you know, he's got two fingers. He got wrecked, he got wrecked a while ago. Okay, so now this starts getting tricky. We're going to go buy a lot, like a lot of grenades. Because you can blow through this game... Oops, sorry. You can blow through this game really quickly and really easily if you just scum it out with grenades. By the way, this is the guy we're going to kill, and we're going to take this guy's blaster right here, which uh, we'll get to a little bit later. So that woman we pissed off has her bodyguards, like, right over here. And as soon as we walk forward, it'll trigger. They have vibroblades. Let's actually go with, uh... Oops, not that. We're going to go with, uh... Our vibroblade, because why not? And triggered immediately. Let's go in. And already dead. And dead. But there's 200... There's 200 XP right there. Just right there. Real easy. Real simple. By the way, here's a really random thing. You can lockpick the cantina entrance. For whatever reason. And it never will work. But of course, you can just open up your door. So there's a weird thing for whatever reason. I know. I think that's one of the only doors you can actually lockpick that doesn't actually do anything. And uh, yeah. Alright, another really funny thing. Guess what else you can equip from uh, or activate from uh, your menu? Your shield! Hey, now you're powered up and kind of cheating. So, we're going to just grenade her to death. Oh, she had a save on that one. She did not save that one. Okay, no, no, don't use a... Uh... And... Dead. Easy. All right, now comes the scummiest of all plays ever. Okay, so this guy is super hard if you don't know how to deal with him properly. If you're at a low level, he will wreck you with melee. He will destroy you, and he only uses melee. 
So, yeah, here is the dumbest and best way to beat him, and you're going to laugh, and I'm actually going to turn on one of these abilities because it's going to make me run really fast, and it's going to be really hilarious. Okay, so I now have adrenal blah 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 Uh, we're going to scum this out by running away from him. And uh, as we do that, we're going to attack. And uh, the trick is you only want to fire once, and you want to cancel the animation, and you keep running. Now, you're going to miss a lot when you do this, and it takes a long time, and you can see there, the health bar is going down real slow. And, uh, yeah, this is the scummiest thing in the world. By the way, his, uh, he has a critical strike move, and it will stun you almost 100% of the time. It will stun you. It will. It's not a fun move to be trapped in. And basically, I think, like, two hits and you're dead. Maybe two? I think sometimes one if you get really unlucky. And, uh, yeah, so, because he has a double weapon, so he hits twice. Which is, uh, why you have to make that really big choice. Do you want to have the, the, uh, the perk in which to use two weapons and attack twice, but lower your accuracy? Or do you want to just be really accurate with one weapon? Which, uh, as you can see right now, is really helpful. Because if I was using two weapons right now, this would take, like, 20 minutes. So this has already taken about three minutes, because, uh, my adrenal to make myself speed up drugs have, uh, my, basically my cocaine is out. I have ran out of my cocaine. It is out of my system, which, uh, is some really weak cocaine if you think about that. But I guess this is Star Wars and I got some pretty crazy cocaine. But, uh, yeah, that's run out, so this does take a while. This is not, a this is not a quick maneuver. And, but he's almost dead. We almost got him. Also, don't use grenades against this guy because he moves. So, they're useless. Grenades are actually completely useless against this guy. He will just keep relocating. Oh, crap. Oh, 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 man. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. That was half my health. I got really lucky there. All right. Let's not, uh, let's not die. By the way, shield's useless also against this guy because he uses melee. And he's down. That was the most climactic fight. You have to assume that everyone watching this fight is just like, what is this? We paid money to see that? And now we have 400 credits. So now our credits are really starting to stack up. We have 770 credits, which is quite a bit considering. All right, so we're also going to he- Oh, no. Hold on. So now that we have that, and I did not waste my med pack, we are now going to fight Twitch, which uh, this guy can be a bit of a pain in the butt, and we need more grenades. Okay, so first things first, like everything else, shield. And uh, I believe, yeah, okay, good. So he just shoots you. So once again, and I no longer now have the shield on, and I'm probably okay to just heal. I can save my shield for uh, the final boss of this little mini quest here. And uh, there we go. And he's dead. Done. Now we're going to go talk to Bendak Starkiller, who is a Mandalorian, who is a boss, and this guy is super hard. All right, so here we go. We just got our first dark side points. Actually, we just got our first morality points in general, which is kind of funny. So, same thing as before. Equip our shield. And now here's the trick. Bendak throws grenades. He throws three. And they're really powerful grenades. And now we grenade him. And we're just going to keep mashing grenades. And hope to God this works. And I don't have to keep retrying this. Okay, so my shield is officially gone. So now it's, it comes down to how many med packs do I have on me. Oh, glitch in the animation. Happens more times than you think. In fact, I have now glitched out the animation to where I'm just standing there and grenades are just popping out of my body. Oh, and I'm actually out of grenades. I may have screwed this up. So, I also just want to point out that this is not meant to be done at this level. You are... I am very underpowered. Crap, I just got stunned. This could be bad. I am very underpowered for this fight. Luckily, I can also heal during the, uh, the stun animation by using the menu. All right. God damn it. All right. I'm going to hope to God I can kill him in time. I'm going to risk it. We're going to go in. We're going to close the gap. We're going to go in with melee. And uh, hope I don't die immediately. Uh-oh. I may have... This may have been bad. Because I'm pretty sure you can destroy me. Like, in yeah. And I'm dead. Who can say
Will our hero defeat Bendak Starkiller? Will we ever actually get back to the main quest and do what we're supposed to do in this damn game? Will V ever actually finish the cover that he set out to do? Find out next time, or not at all, if this video bombs.